This is Joanne with a success story on Beanie. This is Beanie Baby. This is Beanie Baby. Mr. Bean to you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I got a call from the shelter to come see a puppy and I said, no, no puppies. And they said, he's only a pound. And I said, how old is he? And they said, six weeks. I said, no, he cannot be. So I went there and in the cage was this pustule covered, uh, demodectic mange, uh, sarcoptic mange, every kind of horror, and, and fungus, and no skin, and no hair, and it was like a bubonic plague victim. And I said, ah, oh, geez. And they said, he's going to be put down tomorrow. And I said, not my beanie. Actually, I didn't say that then. I said, uh, but let me look at him. And I picked him up with a fleece, because his little skin was so sore, and he was crying because it hurt. And I said, where's his tail? And they said, his tail is on the end of his butt. And I said, I can't see it. I couldn't see it because it was going so fast. Uh. It was like a hummingbird. And I couldn't even see his tail. And I said, why are you so happy when you're miserable? And he said, because you're going to take me home. And I said, oh, geez. So I took him home. And I could carry him in the palm of my hand. And he would follow me everywhere. And his little belly was so bloated with worms that he couldn't even <coughs> jump up the curb. Because his belly would catch on the curb. Aww. And his hind legs would be kicking in the air. <coughs> his little knees were bowed. And he loved everybody. And I grew him up into a six-month-old perfect boy. And we got him fixed. And he went to his new home. And he had friends. And, and what home was that? That was the home in Texas where after a year and a half, they got divorced and put him on Craigslist. And I got all these phone calls and I raced out because everybody was saying, your dog's on Craigslist, one of your dogs is on Craigslist. And I went to the man's place of work, actually I went to his apartment, interviewed his neighbors, they all said he loved the dog, and the dog was fine. Then I went to his job and waited for him to show up for work, and I waited eight hours while he avoided me because he wanted to give Beanie to somebody he met at a store. And I said, you can't do that, because we'll never know what will become of him. And he said, oh, they're very nice. And I said, you don't know that, you need to do a background check. And you got to give back to me because I can take care to make sure he gets the right home. Excuse me, one second, Joanne. What you just said is the difference between a rescue and a pet shop. Yes. Which is that all rescues, some people may get upset sometimes because the rescues and the shelters do a background check. Yes. And we check the vet references and we check the personal references and sometimes we go to the house and the reason for that is because we want to make sure that the dog going to its new forever home will be safe and yes. not abused and not hurt and not neglected and so that is the reason that rescues and shelters take so much time and effort sometimes people complain I do the applications as you know and sometimes people complain because they get a little defensive and they say, why are you asking all of these questions? And we try to explain to them it's to be protective of the dog. It's to make sure that this dog, just like adopting a child, is going to a safe, kind, forever home. Please continue, Joanne. Okay, so that's exactly what happened. I said, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. Pets. So they get them and a week later they get caught and have to get rid of them and then they go who knows where. He didn't know anything about these people at all. He didn't know if they could afford his vet bills. Well, as luck would have it, it turned out Beanie had meningitis. And he also had a back problem. And wow. he has needed several thousand dollars in veterinary care. And if the family wasn't willing to do that, he'd either be dead or he would be, you know, in a shelter somewhere. And that's why it's so important to please donate to shelters and to rescues. We are www.wagonin.rescuegroups.org and all of our funding goes comes from completely donations. We are not state funded and so we count completely on your generosity. Okay, so the end of the story is that I sat in his office for eight hours and cried, cried, prayed, cried to say the right thing so that he would give me Beanie back and he finally said, I'll let you see him. So he took me to his, his apartment, and when he opened the door and Beanie came to greet him, Beanie saw me, and he went mad. And he just said, Mommy, 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 Mommy. And I said, Beanie, Beanie, and I cried, and Beanie cried. And he said, I can see you love this dog. And I said, I love this dog. I had him for six months, I love him. And he said, well, if I give him back, would you keep him so that we know he was safe and where he is? And I said, keep 
him, I will eat him up. I will <laughs> keep him and I'll eat him and I'll sleep with him and I'll cuddle him and I'll take him everywhere. And he said, that's it, man. And I took my beanie home and I had brought all his baby clothes with me to show the guy that I really cared about him. And I had his little tiny jacket with a little fake pack of cigarettes in the pocket. <laughs> and he had his little hat and all his little baby clothes. And now he's a big boy and he's my boy. Yes, he is. And, and he came back. And he's a lucky boy. I'm a lucky girl because he's the best dog in the whole world. Uh, he's the only best dog in the whole world because, uh, because he's beanie. He's beanie and he made it through. And he made it through with your love and your diligence and your care and your humanity. And this is a good success story for Beanie. Yay! Also known as Mr. Bean. Yes. In Say, I'm very lucky to have such a wonderful mommy. But there are lots of dogs out there that need a forever home too. Yes. So please consider rescuing a dog. Please apply to adopt at www.wagonin.rescuegroups.org or any of your local rescues or shelters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>